Today we are going to read A Busy Year by Leo Leone. This is kind of in a weird shape of a book. It was the first day of January, and for the twins, it was their first walk in the winter snow. Look, said Willie, a snow mouse. He's holding a broom, said Winnie. But then they heard a voice. I am not a broom. I am Woody, the tree. The twins couldn't believe it, their ears. A, a talking tree. When they returned a few weeks later, it was already February, and the snow mouse was melting away. But the tree was still there. What have you two been up to? She asked. The twins told Woody about the McBarney barn, where they lived, and about the cows and the horses and the chickens who lived there too. In March, the rain and the wind never seemed to stop. But the twins went to see Woody just the same. She had become their friend. All this rain is fine, she said. I need it, and soon it will be spring. I can't wait. I feel my buds. And indeed, when April came, Woody's branches were full of buds. How do you know which ones will be the blossoms and which ones the leaves? Winnie wondered. To her, they all looked the same. Oh, Woody, you're beautiful, said the twins when they returned in May. Yes, said Woody, her branches heavy with blossoms and leaves. May is my month. It was warm, and the three friends talked and played all day. On their way home, Willie said, it's a shame that Woody can't run. You look sad, said the twins when they saw Woody again. Don't you like June and the summertime? I do, said Woody, but people are careless with cigarettes and campfires, and many trees die in the flames. And I can't run. The twins looked at each other. Don't worry, Woody. We'll protect you, they said as they ran back to the barn to find a hose and water. It was July when one morning Winnie and Willie heard screams. Help! Help! Fire! It was Woody. They unrolled the hose as fast as they could. The flames had almost reached their friend, but the twins arrived just in time. Winnie, Willie, how can I ever thank you? Said Woody gratefully. August was vacation month. The twins went to the seashore with their parents. But first, they went to say goodbye to Woody. Woody was sound asleep. Let's not wake her, Willie said. They hung a note from her bark. It said, gone to the shore. Goodbye, Woody. And it was signed, Willie and Winnie. When they returned in September, Woody's branches were full of fragrant, juicy fruit. How busy you've been, the twins exclaimed. Take as many as you want, said Woody, and the twins ate their bellies full. Nothing had ever tasted so good. October arrived, autumn was almost gone, and winter was coming closer. 
Icy winds blew Woody's leaves away. Oh, poor Woody. <laughs> Don't worry, said Woody. Next year, I'll have new leaves. You'll see. The tree was bare now. It's November already, Willie whispered. What shall we give Woody for Christmas? Oh, she deserves the best, said Winnie. I shall give her a nice piece of cheese. Willie looked at her with dismay. Cheese, he said. Trees don't eat cheese. Oh, I know, said Winnie, laughing, but it's the thought that counts. December came, and then it was Christmas. Winnie stepped forward to give Woody her present. What is it? asked Willie. Manure. Oh, manure, said Winnie triumphantly. Oh, disgusting, said Willie, but Woody laughed. Fertilizer is just what I need. And she meant it. Then it was Willie's turn. His box was full of bulbs and flower seeds to plant around the tree. Woody thanked her two friends. Merry Christmas, they all shouted together. They were happy and ready for another busy year. Are you ready for another busy year? Because it's starting. Good night. I love you.